So the question is, which short runner high RPM intake manifold makes more power? The Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake or the Holly Low Ram? Hey, let's find out. Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to the channel. I'm at West Tech Performance. Up on the dyno, we have a very nice high RPM 5.3 liter, perfect for a short runner intake shootout. In this corner, Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold. In this corner that you can't see, the Holly Low Ram intake manifold. Both of them short runner, both of them designed for high RPM use, but they couldn't be more different, which means only one thing. We've got to find out which one makes more power. Okay guys, we have a high RPM 5.3 liter, wants to run all the way out to 75, 76, 7700 RPM. We happen to have two intake manifolds at our disposal. We have the Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold, and we also have now the Holly Low Ram. The question is, how do they compare? Well, we have the engine, we have a dyno, and we have the intakes. Let's go find out. Our test motor started out life as an all aluminum L33 5.3 liter. The junkyard L33 was upgraded with a Brian Tooley Racing Stage 4 LS3 cam. Additional mods included a set of TrickFlow 220 ASCAST heads that the guys from Brian Tooley Racing did their once over on, included milling, full porting, and an extreme RPM valve spring upgrade. Both the high ram and low ram were run with a set of inch and seven eighths long tube headers feeding collector extensions and mufflers. Running E85, the 80 pound injectors were tuned using a Holly HP management system. First up on our all aluminum 5.3 liter was a Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold. After installing the supplied fuel rails and a fast 102 millimeter throttle body, the Trinity intake was ready to rock. Okay guys, here are the results of the BTR intake manifold. As you can see, we ran quite a lot of RPM starting down at 31 or 3200 RPM and ran it all the way out to 7700 RPM. And there's something very important to talk about here and that's that you need to pick this type of manifold for this type of motor. <laughs> a lot of guys will want to get this manifold and if you want to get this manifold because you think it looks good and it fits under the hood and all that's fantastic. But I want you to know that if you're going to pick this kind of intake manifold for a milder 4.8 or a 5.3, you're probably not going to be too happy with the torque production of these short runner manifolds. If you take a look at a comparison between this manifold and like a fast or a truck manifold or Trailblazer SS, this one is designed to run at a higher engine speed. N those manifolds won't make the peak power that this one does, but this one won't make the torque average torque production that those others do. So it's very important that you pick your combination or pick your intake manifold for your combination. This manifold on a 5.3 with a truck Norris cam, not a good choice. But this manifold on a 5.3 with ported heads and a stage four LS3 camshaft, pretty good choice as we see here. It makes good power. And it's very important, intake manifolds are definitely RPM specific. If, you, if somebody tells you otherwise, they don't really understand how intake manifolds work. So very, very important. Pick the intake manifold for the effective RPM range that you wanna run and you're gonna do very well. And that's exactly what we did here. We're testing two very, very short runner intake manifolds that are designed to run really well at higher engine speeds. Both of them, the Holly Low Ram, and in this case, the Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold. We had big enough throttle bodies on both of them, 102 on this one, 105. So you guys can, in the comments, let me know, oh, 105, it, you know, that's why one makes more power because it has a bigger throttle body. You guys can let me know in there. But on our 5.3 test motor, we had a stock bottom end 5.3. We had the big cam in it. We had ported heads. And on these short runner manifolds, that stuff comes into play where we want to make power at a very high engine speed. So let's take a look at the results on the Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold. We can see this thing made peak power out here at 7,600 RPM, 551.6. So if you're, if you're a roundup kind of a guy, 552 horsepower out there at 7,600. And 
418, 419 foot-pounds of torque, yeah, 419 foot-pounds of torque at 6,100 RPM. The fact that this thing made peak torque at 6,100 RPM, which is higher than a lot of motors make their peak power at with milder cams and long runner intakes manifolds, tells you that this is definitely a higher RPM intake manifold. So if you want to make big power out on the big end, this is the kind of manifold to do it in this kind of combination. Please note that the reason that we didn't run it higher, you you guys are going to make comments, so please do, but definitely make some comments. Um, the reason that we didn't run it out to 8,000 RPM is because this is a stock bottom end motor. While I think it will go there with this spring package and this camshaft that we have, because the camshaft is pretty stable, um, I just didn't want to subject this thing to lots and lots and lots of 8,000 RPM pulls. This thing already has hundreds of pulls at this RPM level. So for the guys worried about, oh, my stock bottom end, I don't want to rev it to 6,000 RPM. Trust me, you can run it to 6,000 and way more than that as this test shows. Now let's take a look at the Holly Low Ram. After testing the Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold, we removed it to make room for the Holly. Yeah, we got the low ram on. Let's make some runs. Okay, guys, let me know in the comments. <laughs> How good does that 5.3 sound at like 7,500 RPM? It's pretty impressive for a junk guard motor. So we ran this thing out to 70, it looks like 7,700 on this one on the Holly Low Ram. And it did well, just like the Brian Tooley Racing Trinity intake manifold, very high RPM, short runner kind of manifold. The we In fact, we there's another video up. You can check that out. I'll go ahead and put a link right here of the high ram versus the low ram. So you can kind of see how the shorter runner does against the longer runner high ram stuff. And longer runners obviously tend to make more power, at least in a, at least in a portion of the RPM range. You guys can check that out. That video is up. But here's our low ram on the, after we took, took the BTR um, Trinity intake manifold off and replaced it with the low ram. The low ram was run, run with 105 millimeter throttle body, same injectors and all that stuff, you know, same hallway HP management stuff. And run with the low ram, the combination proves 547.6. So again, for my rounders, 548 horsepower, very, very similar in terms of peak power, 415.7. So yeah, we'll round up and call that 416 foot-pounds of torque. You can see we ran it from down at 33 or yeah, 3,300 RPM out to 7,700 RPM in this case. But what people want to know is, hey, you know, the peak numbers all sound good. And this is why I provide dynographs. The peak numbers all sound, you know, fairly similar. But let's see what the curves actually look like. That way you could see what would happen as you're accelerating through this RPM range. So this is our, this is our low RAM. And here is the Brian Tooley Racing Intake Manifold. You can see it's interesting that <laughs> it almost looks like weird kind of sine waves happening and the I'll, 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 we'll label these but the Brian Tilly Racing Trinity intake manifold seems to climb away from the low ram in different spots it did it here down past you know 4100 to 4200 did it again in the 4700 to well, 5,700 RPM, and then did it again from six to 65, and then did it again from seven to 75. And we're looking at a difference of 543 versus 548. So five horsepower there. We got uh, 487.6, 488, 
8894. You know, so you're looking at uh, separations of five to six horsepower, five to six foot pounds of torque, as you can see. So really, for in terms of peak power, we we're looking at 547 or 548 versus 551. N not a lot out at the very peak, but you are getting some gains going through the RPM range. And again, as I said, it's very important to note <laughs> both of these designed for higher RPM use, which were, were out near, you know, 76, 7700 RPM. So if you're running your motor there, these short ram manifolds seem to work pretty well. Albert Turner, please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And I'll keep testing.